friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com and I'm here today with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. She is a little bit mad at me today. I Earlier this morning, I went down to visit my daughter, who lives about 20 miles away, and I visited my grand dogs. They're two um, York, uh, not Yorkshire Terriers, they're, um, oh goodness. What am I trying to say? Anyway, my two little grand dogs. I'll think of it in a minute. This is my age coming through. Um, and I petted them. They jumped all over me. And I got back and I was actually in trouble because um, I had been playing with other dogs and they were licking me and jumping all over me. And oh goodness, it was not a good it was not a pretty picture so um, she's been a little bit you can tell she's a little bit aloof today because I didn't have her with me and I was visiting other dogs so we'll see how long she's willing to sit up here silly little thing Allison good morning good afternoon how are you um, I it's been a busy day. I've been racing around doing a lot of things. I've got a local class tomorrow that Allison is coming to. So I'm getting ready for that. I was getting ready for this and doing a lot of different little things this morning. And I'm happy to just come and relax with you guys. Hey, hey Kay, good to see you. Happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday. Um, and it's still the beginning of January. I guess I feel we've been in January already for a couple of weeks because I've been prepping since January 1st with our new calendar, a catalog and everything. I'm gonna to have to put her down. Like I said, she's being a little bit aloof today and she just wants to get down. Jessica, good to see you. She's stuck in my sweatshirt here. Okay, let's let her go back to having a little nap and everything and I guess I better not visit the grand dogs and not take her because she wasn't happy with that at all. Yes, Allison, looking forward to, I'm looking forward to seeing you. So, what all is going on? There is so much going on with Stampin' Up! and with, uh, with my little pretty paper cards business. I can't even begin to tell you. I've been just, so much going on. And you know we have a new catalog. And I'm just so thrilled that I can show you the inside of it now. Here's the outside, but I can just show you the inside at will. I, ooh, it frustrates me when I can't show you the inside before it goes live because I always love everything and I want to show it to you. So um, I can show you everything. And we've looked a little bit at it on Wednesday, if some of you were with me on Wednesday, and we're going to look a little bit more at it today, but we've got a lot to talk about. Let me check my little schedule. Oh, I'm going to be giving the prize at the end, so stay tuned. Um, the prize, we haven't met on a Friday, I can't even believe it, since December 17th. It's been a while. And the prize that day was um, the Embossing Buddy. So I have the Embossing Buddy and I have uh, the random number generator has picked a winner. Hi, Marcia, good to see you. Um, amen. Yes, that's what you're singing, amen. Um, so we've got that going on. Um, the new catalog, prize at the end, and I want to tell you about a mini retreat that my friend Robin Dawes, my, um, my downline and my friend, we're doing a mini retreat on January 29th. It's local for anyone who wants to attend, but it's also going to be to go, the mini retreat to go, and it's featuring um, the Daffodil Daydream stamp set and the daffodil dies this is a fabulous and beautiful stamp set and bundle uh, the celebration brochure has matching paper coordinating paper and you'll get some of that paper if you come to the retreat here's a card i'm not sure if we'll make this exact card because we haven't even started designing our cards we're going to make three cards and two 3d projects for our retreat our mini retreat it's in the afternoon if you're local, it's from, I think, 1 to 4. And otherwise, we mail the to-go portion the day after the retreat. Or it would be the mailing day after the retreat because it's on a Saturday, so it would be on a Monday. Holly, good to see you. Um, the price is uh, $50 for the retreat, which includes the Daffodil Daydream stamp set. I just love that name, don't you, Daffodil Daydream? 
and the uh, $75 includes if you want to add the dies. And then we have to add on uh, shipping if you're out of town. But if you're interested in the mini retreat on January 29th, um, let me know. We weren't planning on doing a live event online, but it doesn't mean we won't. So if you're interested, let me know. Just email me, Peggy at PrettyPaperCards.com. Now, a very exciting thing I've been waiting to show you, and I'm going to turn the camera down. I'm starting something new in my business. Hi, Roz. Um, for you guys and all of my friends, it's called Peggy's Faith Creations. I know a lot of you um, love the Lord and like to make cards that celebrate that, and I definitely do also. So I wanted to... Um, put that in part of my business and so I'm going to have classes to go that are called Peggy's Faith Creations. It might be cards and it might be also um, 3D items, uh, samplers. I'm not quite sure everything I'm going to be doing but it starts this month and this is what it's going to be called and already I've designed some cards for the first class. It's going to be a class on love. We're going to celebrate um, some godly characteristics so I'm going to give you the quickest peek you know I don't like you to see the whole thing because then you might you know I like to keep it a bit of a little secret so these are kind of in some plastic wrappers I've had to protect them but I've got the cards made we're going to make six beautiful cards using Bible verses and I've printed out Bible verses and we're going to put them on cards and use Stampin' Up! product uh, with the Bible verses so Here's the first one, and they're going to be all verses on love because it's Valentine's month in February, so we need to make them early. And this verse is, we love because he first loved us. And that's one of the cards. You'll make two of each of the cards. You'll get a half a pack of paper. You'll get um, two different packages, uh, full packages of embellishments. Here's the next one that we're going to make for love is from God. I'm just giving quick sneak peeks, remember? And here's the third one. So they all have Bible verses. That's the, the difference between this and my regular classes to go. So you can take either. And this one says is from Proverbs, God is love. So those are the cards we're going to make this month in my Faith Creations class, January Faith Creations class. And if you're interested, uh, email me that for that also. Um, it's going to be $40 for the basic kit. And then if you want to get a beautiful, fabulous um, hybrid embossing folder that we are using today, and I'm going to show you how to use it today, I'm going to include that. If you'd like to go for $65, I'll include that hybrid embossing folder with the Bible verses in the, in the cards. And everything you need pre-cut, pre-done, all for you. So I'm really excited about that, and I hope you are too, because uh, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time, and it'll just be a, another portion of my business. Now, I still have my pretty adhesive packs for sale, which have been really going great guns. They have the, all the ribbons and the handmade pom-poms, so the adhesive packs are are here to stay. I just love them and I think you guys do too. Alrighty, well let's see what are we going to do today. Um, I'm going to turn the camera down now again. Let me see if I can do this. And the card we're going to make today is a Valentine for a friend. And here it is. And we're going to learn how to use the Bouquet of Love hybrid embossing folder we're not using we are using one stamp but the main technique you're going to learn is how to use this beautiful embossing folder and it's something new there was one um, for the holidays in the holiday catalog and this is the second one that i know of that they've come out with and it is an entire set a die a set of dies and an embossing folder now what makes it the hybrid part well, do you see the heart right in the center? That is a place where you put one of the dies. This die right here is made to go in the center of the heart. And what happens is then, and we're going to do it today, we're going to 
put the paper in, run it through the embossing folder just like that, and it creates this beautiful outside. Look at that gorgeous embossing. And also, now I've removed the inner heart that it, not surgery, not heart surgery. It sounded like that, didn't it? Okay, um, but you'll have another heart that you can use with this or on other projects, and I'm gonna show you exactly how exactly how we're gonna do that. So let's get started. Okay, um, to begin with, we're gonna begin with our basic um, card base, eight and a half by five and a half, and scored at four and a quarter. And I'm gonna get that burnished here for us. Now, one of the things about this particular front making this card I'm just leaving an eighth of an inch or actually a sixteenth of an inch difference on all sides I want that beautiful embossed surface to show as much as possible so I'm gonna take a piece of basic white cardstock it's five and three eighths by four and one eighth what I did actually actually is just back up an eighth of an inch from the size of the card itself and we're, I'm going to get out my big boss you know the big boss here and we have to use the special plate number four because this is a 3d embossing folder and so what we do with this one I've got a lot going on over here so we're gonna bring up the stamp and cut and emboss machine and our paper and here it is we'll put it right up here so you guys can see it and we're gonna take our embossing folder that I've already placed the heart in, okay? There's the heart. I'm glad, Marcia, I'm glad that you like that too. Um, so here is, now what I've discovered is to the front of the embossing folders, what I call the front always has the Stampin' Up! logo on it. That's what I call the front, and this is called the Bouquet of Love. So when I open this, I'm gonna open it with the front down, I'm going to put the die over here. I tried it on the other side and it didn't come out as well. Then I'm going to put my full piece of paper in here. And to make sure it's totally centered, all you have to do is close your folder and you can get a, you can get a, can you see that heart inside? So we want to move that a little bit so that it's as centered as possible because this is going to become the majority of our card. Let's bring it down just a little bit. We'll see what we think. I think that looks pretty good, don't you? Okay, so for when you're when you're using the 3D embossing folders with your stamp and cut and emboss machine, you use plate number one, put in the embossing folder, and then use plate number four that I showed you a minute ago. So we'll put those both in, and it really runs nice and easy through the machine. That's what I like about it because many embossing folders, the 3D ones, are tight when you run them through some of the other machines. And let's just see what this does. I just think this is so neat. I love it. All right, so here was our front again with our die, and we're gonna open it up, and there's our paper completely embossed beautifully with that floral pattern. Come on up. And then it cut but also embossed this beautiful heart on the inside. And this heart you can use also, use it separately, you can, you know what I mean? You can put this on your card, the, the base part, and you can lift the heart up on dimensionals. You can do a couple of pieces and have a heart of a different color and lift that up on dimensionals. There is so much you can do and it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So that's done. Now we'll see how to continue. I'm going to set this aside, this heart, and use it on another card because it's so pretty. Now I'm not 100% satisfied. I got the heart a little over to the right, but I think when we get it all done, I don't even know if you can see it, when we get it all done, nobody will really notice. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece down to my card front using my multi-purpose glue and I'm just going to go not too close but around the heart opening. I love that this makes a heart opening for us. Now there's many things you could do. You know you could actually um, do this to the very front of your card and have the 
the heart that it punches out coming up through when you open the page. I'm not doing that today, but it is definitely an option that you can do. So there we go. We've got that beautiful embossed piece. I mean, it is gorgeous embossing if you actually see it. You ordered this, Holly. It is, I'm glad you're watching so that you can learn how to, how to really, some of, or one of the options of what you can do with it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place another little heart. I want to show you again the dies that come with the set, and I have to get my Mr. Big up here again. I don't need the embossing plate, but I do need um, the base plate. But the, the hybrid embossing folder, as I mentioned, it comes with actually nine different dies. And here they are. Uh, the big one we just used. But you get flowers. Oh, there's a little flower missing. There's supposed to be four flowers. I'm sure I'll find it. Um, that's like a little leaf and two different labels. So what I'm gonna do right now is use this small inside heart because I want to put this on the inside of my of the heart on my card. And this particular one, I've tested it out already, and you can, you can cut two pieces of cardstock with the one heart die. So I'm gonna put it there. I've got Blushing Bride cardstock, and I, I need two of them because I'm gonna show you a special little um, layered heart today. So I'm gonna run this through the machine and both hearts will be cut at the same time. And this machine is just so smooth. I love that I don't have to work that hard. It, it goes through very easily. So let me get this up where you can see it. It's a stitched heart. That's another thing I love so much about it is, let me get this down. Stitch the embossing folder, the die, the big heart, that is also stitched, so there's a lot of stitching going on. That's another bonus to this hybrid embossing folder. So now we've got our two embossed hearts. Darling, right? And we're going to put them right in here, and we're going to layer them inside with some leaves. So let's see how we're going to do that today. In case I need it, I'm going to get out my um, this little pad. I'm just forgetting things today. I don't know why. I, my mind has been a lot of places. I should have written it down. Uh, silicone mat. That's it. And I wanted to show you quite a few different new things. I'm into showing you new things today because we have a new catalog, of course. And this is the bow punch. B-O-U-G-H. Like the bow of a tree. And it makes these little tiny kind of pods you can punch out and you can also punch out these leaves. And for our the purposes today, we're gonna punch out a bunch of, of um, leaves. No, we're gonna punch out a bunch of the little pods. The leaves were too big. But what I wanted to show you on this punch, do you see this line right up the middle? That helps you, that helps divide the leaf from the pods. So you can put strips of paper right through under the leaf and only punch out the leaf because personally I end up wasting paper if I would put a piece in and I might punch both things but I only needed one so we're only going to use the little the little um, pods today so I've got a strip of granny apple green cardstock and I'm going to slide it up right on on the inside but pretty much right up to that line do you see that line right there and that way I don't, I hopefully don't get too much, too much waste. And I'm gonna punch out six leaves. And they're, or I'm calling them leaves. They might be a type of leaf, but to me they look like pot, some little pods. But I guess they're boughs because it's called a bow punch. I like it too, Roz. It gives you, and plus it gives you two options. That's the one thing. We used to have a leaf punch, but it only gave the one option. And now this gives the, the second option of the little pods or different leaves, but I do think they look like pods. I don't know what you guys think. 
Okay, so I'm punching six of those, and we've got those all punched out now. And what I'm gonna do, I am going to double layer this heart. And what that means is, I, this is the bottom one. I cut two out, do you remember? You can see the top one has more stitching. Well, the stitching shows more clearly because it was on top. This was the piece that was on top when I ran it through the machine. So the stitching shows more clearly. This one I don't care about so much because it's gonna be directly under the other one. And the stitching doesn't show as much, but that is okay. So here's where I'm gonna bring in my silicone mat. And I'm going to adhere these leaves on both sides of the heart, like this. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna take my multi-purpose glue, and this is why I'm doing it on a mat so that it doesn't get on my um, my pretty wood mat. And we're just, come back. We're just gonna cover this pretty much with glue, whoops, but not in a heavy way. That's why I'm gonna spread that all out. Because what we're gonna do is just adhere those little leaf pods. We'll just call them leaf pods now. And we can make it look any way we want, but I wanted to have leaves coming out of both sides the top left and the lower right. So I'm just gonna put that one little guy in there. And I'm just gonna keep doing that until I get it just the way I want it. Three on the, on the lower right and three on the upper left. So, and then we're gonna double layer it and I'll show you. So here is The last one and they should stick right on there we've got enough glue you just need to press them down just a tiny bit so they adhere in there and we're gonna also put stamp and dimensionals on top of them hey Robin good to see you Robin is the one that's doing the mini retreat with me I'm so I was telling them Robin about the mini retreat and how fun it's gonna be and the daffodil daydream set I'm so excited and we have to come up with some 3D projects, don't we, Robin? We're going to, though. Okay, so these little leaves are just adhering right on there. And this is gonna make sure they stay where we want them to be and they don't come off. Let's get that one stuck down with the glue. Okay, just like that. Now I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get my take your pick tool and I'm just gonna press those a little bit into the glue to make sure that they really stick down. It doesn't take a lot of glue, but you do have to press them into the glue. I think that's pretty good. We'll just leave that and we're gonna let that dry for a minute and I'm gonna pull out, um, I've already gone ahead and die cut some of these teeny tiny little hearts. Do you see these little hearts? Um, this isn't, in fact, let me get out my catalog and show you while that little glue dot dries there. Um, this is all part of the Sweet Talk, Sweet, S-U-I-T-E, collection. Sweet Talk, Sweet Collection. And it has two, uh, two stamps, two bundles. One is this, is the Sweet Conversation stamp set and dies. And the other one is, whoops, the one we're using. And that is, the we're not using the Love and Happiness stamp set, but we are using the Bouquet of Love hybrid embossing folder. So these are the two bundles that are part of that suite. So, the the other dies, the sweetheart dies, I've got some out because I'm using them in my local class tomorrow, but what I did is I took these small little dies and I ran them through my um, stamp and cut and emboss machine with real red cardstock, and that's how I got all these adorable little baby hearts that we're gonna be using today. I, sh I thought I had six of them. I find them all over the place. Okay, now we're ready to layer our heart, our floral. It's really a floral heart. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put dimensionals, stampin' dimensionals, inside my heart, even though it's going 
on top of glue, that's okay. And we want it to go a little bit over the stems also. And now we're just going to pull those papers off and layer the second heart right on top. It's kind of like doing surgery. It's all very delicate, very tiny. Okay, and here's our second heart. And we just want to make sure it's pretty much right over the other one. Let me see. We want to get it lined up the best we can, just like that. And there is our layered heart with the leaves coming out both sides. Isn't that cute? Now let's get out our card base. And here it is. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to put this right inside of our card base like that. And we're going to layer this on top of Stampin', more Stampin' Dimensional. So this heart is really popped up. Double, double popping up just like that. And I think it looks really nice inside the heart. It just really brings a focus to this beautiful, beautiful embossed heart. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is take these adorable little um, mini hearts and we're going to get some mini Stampin' Dimensionals and we're going to pop those all over the place. Now, on the sample card, let me show it to you again. I used um, five, and I want you guys to tell me, do you think I should use five or just three? After I did the five, I kind of thought it was a bit much. Let me know what you think while, while I start working with the, with the mini hearts here. Five just seemed like too many. Okay, so here's one of the hearts, and the mini Stampin' Dimensional just barely fits right inside there, just barely. But I know where I'm going to put the very first heart, and that is right up here on the Blushing Bride heart. I think that looks cute there. Okay, Holly, you think we should go for three? Okay, I'm kind of thinking the same. I think I went a bit overboard there with the five. Okay, now I'm going to turn that upside down with my scissors. I can grab it a little easier. And put another mini Stampin' Dimensional under there. I like to use my scissors because I can position things a little bit better. So let's put this one over here in contrast to draw your eye another direction. And then we'll just do one more. I'm wondering where I should put that. I'm kind of thinking right around over here. Let me turn it upside down. Get that little dimensional. Mini, mini, mini. Everything's mini today. I bet some of you use tweezers. I know I have some friends who use tweezers to do this. So I'm thinking kind of, I don't know. Uh, where do you guys think? Maybe over here. Three. Not, oh, not, okay. What about one on the Blushing Bride and three on the white? Okay, well, I don't, you know, thank you, Robin. Three not counting the one on the other heart. Okay, that's what Allison says. Um, all right, one more. So that makes four. We could actually put it right there. That's not too bad. Okay, let's try that. Upper right, okay. I love you guys because you give me very excellent advice. Very excellent advice. And you know, this is kind of, I actually, I know you tune in to watch me do this, but I feel like I get the benefit of it because you are all advising me and you have such great ideas. Okay, so upper right, she says. Let me see just where. Maybe like that. Okay. You know what? When you make yours, you can do it, do it however you like. But that's how it turned out. Now, the next thing we're going to do is stamp our sentiment. I kind of like that. Just for, you know, you can do each one different. I like that. Okay. So now we're going to stamp our sentiment. And you can see on my sample... Most of us, um, 
we're not like in elementary school or junior high school and sharing Valentine's with one another that way. But I like to send Valentine's to my friends. So I found a sentiment that said, my friend, and I liked the font. It's in a, a set that we've had for a while called Ornate Thanks. And it's right here, it just says, my friend. And I thought it fit really well, it looks really nice. So I'm gonna use this. And I feel really good about sending this card to, my, to a friend or two. I'll have two cards now. And so I'll have one for a couple of friends. And I like to send Valentines to my friends. I don't know about you guys, but I do. Because who else sends you Valentines these days, right? Right. So I'm going to stamp that way down there so we can cut it out very thin. We could use some label dies. Um, the label dies that come with the Bouquet of Love uh, hybrid embossing folder are very cute. Um, this one didn't, it was a little too small and I felt like that one was too big. So I decided I'm just going to cut my own out here. I'm just going to, um, I think I'm going to flag this end over here where it says my friend. And let me cut this part with my trusty paper snips. I sure love my paper snips. I don't know about you guys, but they're so nice and sharp. I really like them. And I'm just gonna go down just like this. And then what I like to do is if I hand trim it, I turn it upside down and that kind of gives me a good uh, perspective because the words aren't getting in the way. And it looks like this is just sticking out just a bit there. So I'm going to try to just trim that up just a hair. Okay, and now we're ready to put it on our card right in here. And I think I am going to do the little flag at the end on the left end this time. It just adds what I think is a bit of a finished look. I don't know what you guys think. There we go. And let's put on a couple more Stampin' Little Mini Dimensionals. On the back, we couldn't have any. We couldn't have had these things any bigger, any smaller, or they wouldn't have fit the mini dimensionals. I'm telling you, we just are barely getting under the wire with that. And we'll just put this right up in here. And I just think that looks really sweet, don't you? Wouldn't you be proud to send this to a to a friend? I may, it may look a little bit crooked. I don't, I guess maybe not. I think it looks fine. I'm just gonna stick with that. I am really happy about this card. And here's the one, the sample we started with. Um, happy Valentine's Day in advance, everybody. We're gonna make some more. We're gonna be making some more. But we need to do our prizes now, right? Okay, so the prize from last time was, um, one of our embossing buddies that Stampin' Up! doesn't sell anymore, but that we all need. And somebody told me this week, I had someone write in to me and said that you can use the embossing buddy when you get a little bit of, like when you're gluing something down and you get a little glue out of the edges. I usually use that rubber eraser deal. Well, once you've used that, sometimes it's still a bit sticky. And she said to use the embossing buddy over it and it really works. So another use for the embossing buddy. So per the random number generator of the comments that were in there, Kay Phipps. Kay is almost always on here and I don't see her today. Are you here, Kay? But if not, I know how to get a hold of her. So Kay is winning the little embossing buddy, the retired embossing buddy. And everybody can use one of these. They, it's really gonna come in handy. And now I'm gonna change my camera back here. And I'll show you next week's prize. And next week's prize is another very usable thing. Um, a package of Stampin' Spritzers. Two of our little sprayers that will spray water or alcohol on lots of your creations and will really help you. I, I have about four right now filled up with uh, two with water and two with alcohol to use on my different 
things that I create and I think you'll like these. So if you're interested in getting the Stampin' Spritzers put prize and be sure to check back the following week, you know, be sure to check back next next Friday to make sure if to see if you win the Stampin' Spritzers. So thank you so much for stopping by today. Don't forget my um, Peggy's Faith Creations. This month is my one class to go. My other class to go is the one with the mini retreat. Um, I don't have either one up on my blog yet. I'm going to be getting those up on my blog. So be watching for that. You're really the first to know. I usually send to my newsletter people, but I haven't even gotten a newsletter out yet. I've been so busy. So um, best wishes to each one of you. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.